Hello dear friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs and I'm here to bring you another fun, quick, easy, easy, easy album that I made for my um, daughter's homeschool um, co-op and uh, we're having a silent auction tomorrow so we wanted to bring a couple of things to add and I'm going to have this album and then one more little teeny tiny mini album so um, you'll there will be another one uh, another video made very quickly so anyways just real quick this is the album isn't it sweet it's that chalkboard paper from um, Hobby Lobby and I will show you the pack in just a minute and um, I just had a great time this quick this sweet little Santa kind of the must stash kind of theme. Um, it was in the clearance bin at Hobby Lobby, so it was just really, really fun and just a blessing to find and a blessing to give to somebody else. So uh, real quick, let me show you the supplies I used. Okay, This is the paper pack that I found. Um, it was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Don't you love Hobby Lobby? And um, it was just real sweet. All the real pretty little um, chalkboard prints. And um, I complimented it with some uh, dark green and dark red cardstock that was just in my stash. Um, I also used some of these um, fun little, um, just fun. There were several different kinds of little stickers, and of all places, they were glittery stickers, which I thought perfectly complemented this paper because it's a very muted paper. And I found these at the Dollar Tree, so that was a dollar. So, anyways, lots and lots of fun. Um, I um, also found some of these little tags, and I used these. These also came from Hobby Lobby, and I'm a hundred percent sure I got them in the clearance area so um just very sweet so beautiful so lovely to use so real quick let me slide that stuff out of the way and here we go let's take a quick look at the album I promise I'll be faster than the last last little video all right so very quickly I explained this sweet little Santa Hobby Lobby clearance just a a sweet little brass button out of my stash. This was one of the cutouts of the paper pack and just a pretty little red uh, crocane uh, flower, just sweet Christmas colors. And then again, there's that dark green cardstock and I just popped it up on pop dots and um, used some of my, um, oh goodness, it's the glitter Oh, I've just blanked out on what it's called. I will be sure to put that in my on my blog with a list of the supplies. Um, and then lots and lots and lots of ribbons from my stash here on the side for just a little bit of bling. And then with a really sweet little black um, uh, just safety pin, I added my um, handmade with love um, little... Uh, you know, charm that I put on all, all the things that I make. Um, this is a two ring album, um, some fun glitz that I had in my stash, and I also painted all the cardstock, um, kind of a, a, a glimmery, glittery gold paint, just simple, simple paint from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, I just felt like the, the, the paper is beautiful, but sometimes it's just really black and white, and so I just want to add a little pop here and there, and with the button, I thought that kind of tied in really nicely. So here we go. We're going to open it up. So first page, um, pocket came from the cut aparts in the um, the paper pack again Hobby Lobby paper studio love 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 Hobby Lobby and um, there's some of those fun little accent glitter um, snowflakes from that Dollar Tree goodie goodie stickers I found and then just a very simple tag and I'm just gonna set the tags out with a ribbon and then I move to the next page. Tons, by the way, tons and tons of space for pictures, for memorabilia, etc. It's just tons and tons of space on this album. Okay, the next page, more of those sweet little trees um, that come from good old um, Dollar Dollar Tree. Um, it was just a dollar for the whole thing. I loved it. And I just love this paper that came from that same paper pack. Isn't that pretty? Um, just holly berries. And then I made a photo tag. And it's just very, very simple. It ties into the other side. And it's just, um, I cut out some scalloped little uh, flowers to make the tab and mounted it on that dark green cardstock. Um, there's another one of those cute little stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I, um, with my uh, red glitter paint, I added just the little Rudolph's nose. I just thought it was too cute. So anyways, so we're just going to go through this quickly. Um, I, I used a, a scallop, a larger scallop 
you know, to make the, um, just the tab cut out on the page for that, um, photo page to fit in. So anyway, so here we go. Um, another, the next page, I used that same cardstock. Um, these were from, uh, Hobby Lobby clearance bin over the summer and they're just cute little felt stockings and then this is just one of their cute um, paper studio line um, embellishments love it love it love it here's a sweet little red simple simple tag and of course that's just a little side pocket next page look there's that one of those fun little sweet tags sticker tags that I got on um, the clearance bin um, I just kind of shop year round and when I find things I buy them and I put them up and I organize them in my stash and so when it comes time for making Christmas I just pull everything out of my Christmas um, uh, keeping or you know my little uh, paper uh, and have the paper area that's Christmas I have embellishment areas that are Christmas and then in my ribbon I even have those sorted by winter spring summer fall and um, as well as color so um, it makes it really easy when I get ready to do an album I just pull everything out that I think I might use put it in one little table beside my drafting table and I just get going so here's another cutout from that paper and lots of fun little sweet tags that you know just match I tried to, again, see that paper, they all kind of tie together, um, but there's a variation to keep it interesting. So another sweet little pocket and another, and I didn't punch out the scallop tab area because of um, the pocket there. And of course that ties together there too. And then the back is just a sweet little Christmas tree on it. So um, I just wanted a little pop of color on these. Nothing major, very simple. Um, so if somebody gets this album, they'll know what to do. They can put their pictures in, their memorabilia, they can journal. So isn't that sweet? Just the, um, the, the rest of that Santa mustache kind of kit that I found. Super cute. Put that there. Little pop of color. Um, more tags. These tags, I got these um, solid ones, I got in the Target dollar spot. I did not like the color of the twine, so I just took it out and put my own twine in. So that's a really easy fix if you find stuff and you say, mm, don't like that, I don't like this, just change it up a little bit. No big deal. And then here's um, two little candy canes to put together and make a heart. I know, kind of corny, but I thought it was cute. And um, And of course, this is another pocket here. Next page, just pretty Christmas trees, and then another one of those Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree stickers, and um, and then I'm sorry, I'm one handing this, and then here's that pretty paper from earlier, that holly berry, and there's a Christmas tree there, and then a sweet little um, snowflake, glittery snowflake there. So those photo um, tags or photo, what am I trying to say? Photo boards are so pretty and so useful. Okay, one more page, and I did do the cutout on that one as well, sorry. Um, so another sweet, simple little um, pocket, side pocket, um, some more cute little um, stickers. I think these were from Hobby Lobby, and I love these. They're just little tiny little stockings, and they're so cute. Um, this, again, just Target dollar spot. And I made this with my, uh, this just leftover paper, and I made it with the, um, the punch from uh, Stampin' Up, and I made a sweet tag, and so the back is white. And the same thing with this one, I did two of them and put them in that pocket, um, each with, let me go back, each with different color string, red and green. So, I mean, it just, it's really simple. And then on the other side, another pocket from the, um, another cutout from that paper pack, and it just says, Seasons Greetings, Winter Wonderland, Frosty, Let It Snow. And I made that one kind of a side pocket, so, um, corner pocket, so another tag with a pretty ribbon, and another one of those from uh, Dollar Spot at Target, and then here's one of those other cute little mustaches, and I just thought these are just really simple, easy, sweet paper pages, and then this is just the photo board, each paper, each page has a photo board in it, so there's Rudolph and a tree. So we're going to get going. And by the way, I will tell you in the end how I made these. You will love this. It's super easy. So here's a pocket, that same pretty holly paper, another tag, and another one of those pretty ones from 
uh, Hobby Lobby's um, sale bin. And of course, they pop up a little bit. I'm sure you can see that, and they have a real pretty string on them. So just a tiny pop of color. And then here's a big cutout that I made a larger pocket, a little bit of a snowflake and snowflake, and then just more simple tags for journaling and another photo board. And Rudolph with his little red shiny nose. Okay, we're getting close to the end, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Okay, and here's another one of those sweet mustaches and um, glitter tree. And here's another one of these from the dollar bin. And this little um, red ribbon is from uh, Dollar Tree. And they're for Christmas ornaments uh, or Christmas tree ornaments. And I thought, isn't that cute? I could put that on one of my little tags. And because it fits in like that, it gives a little bit of color. So, um, again, Dollar Tree, another one of these pretty papers with the trees, and another pretty photo board trees. Again, they kind of tie in. And then Rudolph with the red nose. And last page, another simple pocket. I did the little stockings hanging on the line, and a tag. And that's it. I mean, there's more of that pretty Christmas um, ornament paper. And here's another one, snowflakes, a, a cut out from the paper pack. This is the back cover. And it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I put a cross for a paper clip, you know, um, because it's Jesus' birthday. And that's a celebration of Christmas. And uh, here is a, another one of those sweet little stockings and some sweet little tags and you know, dollars, dollar spot target, bits and pieces left over, and I just, you know, simple punch from Stampin' Up. And then the back cover is, oh, oh, okay, this is a very, very um, sweet back cover, and I'm putting my hand over that because my, that's my um, information, and um, I may have to skip or edit or do something but um i found these darling little sticky notes right here and um i uh put them on all my christmas albums so they can be from and to whoever wants to give them and then a beautiful um it's a clear sticker that i mounted on red cardstock and it gives all the names um of jesus king of kings savior emmanuel comforter messiah it just goes on and on and i just thought you know um i love the joy of christmas and i love what it means so that's why i added that it's really important that um you know i just keep my focus so anyways this is a fun fun easy project and just so you know these are paper bag pages so how easy was that so as you can see that's all they are. They're simple paper bag pages. And guess where I got the paper bags? At the Dollar Tree. Oh, excuse my little hand there. Um, I got them at the Dollar Tree. And they were 12 for a dollar. Really good finish on them. I really, really love working with them. They're um, thicker. They're sturdier than the ones like brown paper bags. So anyways, I know this was a fast video. We've got lots of people coming to the house tonight. So I wanted to get in here real quick because I'm going to be giving this away tomorrow. And I just wanted to share this sweet little album. And literally, I did this um, in a few hours. It, it didn't take long. I just had everything ready to roll. I... I painted one day or painted early in the morning I think and then started putting everything together that afternoon because I had everything set up ready to roll I had it very organized um, and again anybody who knows me that may not always be true but for this I've been really trying to get prepared so anyways everybody have a wonderful wonderful day thank you for bearing with me I'm still new at this we still don't have a camera mount so I'm hand holding the camera as you can well see I hope I haven't made you too nauseous and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me I will be glad to answer as best I can um, I'm still pretty new at all this but um, at some point I'll figure out this technology but um, anyways um, have a great day and just be blessed bye-bye